Good day and welcome. Today, we're starting an exciting series of videos on the weather and climate. What is the weather like today? How cold is it? Is the wind blowing? How strong is the wind? These are some of the questions we will answer in this series. When you answer these questions, you describe elements of the weather, like temperature, cloud cover, rainfall, and wind. And here's the fun part, stick around until the end for some brain-teasing questions to test your skills. Challenge yourself and see how well you've grasped the material. It's a fantastic way to boost your confidence for those upcoming tests and exams. Today's lesson is part of our exciting series on weather and climate. We are focusing on elements of weather, temperature, wind, cloud cover, and rainfall. For more informative videos on climate and weather, please check out the links in the description for more details. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. All right, let's get started on this journey together and discover how these elements shape our weather. So, let's get started. Weather is the state of the atmosphere at any given time, including temperature, wind, cloud cover, and rainfall. These are called the elements of weather. Weather conditions differ from place to place and can change in a matter of hours. It may be hot and sunny in one part of the world, but freezing and snowy in another. When people talk or ask about the weather, they are referring to the conditions outside. This means that it could be hot, cold, rainy, stormy, or windy. When we talk about the weather, we include temperature, wind, cloud cover, and rainfall. Meteorologists are people who record and study the weather. Every day, meteorologists measure weather conditions at different places in our country. This information is then sent to the Weather Bureau, where it is put onto a South African weather map for that day. These recordings are also used by meteorologists to predict what weather to expect in the next few days. They present the information to the public via television, radio, the internet, and newspapers. Did you know? Before weather forecasts were available, fishermen, farmers, and others who worked outdoors had to rely on weather wisdom, such as the appearance of clouds or the behavior of animals, to tell them what was coming. A bull in a farmer's field, a frog in a jar, or a swallow in a bush could detect a coming storm. The first weather forecasts were storm warnings for ships going out to sea. Let us look at the first weather element in more detail. Temperature tells us how hot or cold something is. A thermometer is an instrument used to measure temperature. Weather changes from day to day. When it is very cold, the temperature is low. When it is very hot, the temperature is high. On days when it is neither hot nor cold, we say that the temperature is mild. The lowest temperatures are usually just after sunrise. The highest temperatures are usually just after midday, 12 o'clock. Temperatures also change with the seasons. Temperature is usually high in summer and lower in winter. How is temperature measured? Temperature is measured by a thermometer and is presented in degrees Celsius, degree C. Most thermometers consist of a long tube with numbers on the side. The tube contains liquids such as mercury or alcohol. When the air around the tube is heated, the liquid expands up the tube and stops at a number. That number is the temperature of that place. In this case, the temperature reading from the thermometer is 30 degrees Celsius. Here are some fun facts about temperature. Normal human body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. 
If the temperature is even colder than the freezing point, we say it is minus. For example, in some parts of South Africa, temperatures can drop to minus 5 degrees Celsius in winter. In winter, it can get very cold in some areas and the water in ponds can freeze in the morning. We can describe temperature using words such as very cold, cold, cool, mild, warm, hot, and very hot. Wind is moving air. You can also say wind is the natural movement of air at any speed. While you cannot see it, you can feel it. Air moves due to temperature differences. As the air gets hotter, it becomes lighter and rises. When this happens, cold air moves in to take its place. Sometimes you can see hot air above a heater, a fire, or on a hot road. Meteorologists measure the direction and speed of moving air. Wind speed also indicates the strength of the wind. Wind speed is measured using an instrument called an anemometer. Did you know? A nautical mile, or knot, is the unit used to measure distances at sea. A nautical mile is 1.8 kilometers long. Wind speed is recorded in units of knots, KNT, meters per second, or kilometers per hour. A knot is a nautical mile per hour. We can describe wind speed using words such as calm, breeze, strong wind, and gale. The higher the number, from the anemometer, the faster the wind is blowing. Wind direction is determined using a wind vane or a windsock. Winds are named according to the direction from which they blow, described using compass points. Earlier, we learnt about the eight compass points of direction, north south, east, west, northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. We use these names to describe where the wind is coming from. For example, a westerly wind blows from west to east, and a northerly wind blows from north to south. The in-between winds are also named after the direction from which they blow. For example, a southeasterly wind blows from a southeast direction. On maps, you will see arrows showing the direction the wind is blowing from. This map shows wind speed and wind direction. Wind speed is indicated in kilometers per hour by the numbers in circles, and wind direction is shown by the green arrows. For example, the wind speed in Pretoria is 15 kilometers per hour, with a northern wind blowing through the city. Can you tell us the wind speed and direction in Durban? We have come to the end for today. Before we go, please attempt the following questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. This is an important section that brings together what you have learnt. Today, we learnt more about temperature and wind. In the next video, we will look at other weather elements such as cloud cover and rainfall. So, let's meet next time to discuss this further. Be sure to check out the link in the description for more videos. Also, please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss our weekly uploads. Thank you for watching, and keep well.